<laughs> oh my god, I just killed so many people. <laughs> Hey you guys, what's up? So today we are playing the Isle and we are on the Isle of Winter Sandbox. Uh, this a server right here with an 80 person cap. A ton of players are on the server right now and uh, there was an update to the Isle. The update included a massive herbivore buff and some carnivores were nerfed. Now we all know we had a little bit of a problem with Rex's and all of that stuff and how much damage they were doing and, and just Rex packs completely destroying people. And I am for and against this update, and I want to give you guys my stance on that uh, before we actually get into the gameplay of the trike and stuff, because the trike is a- it's, it's a train now. Um, yeah, Carno- Carno is high, I guess. Uh, hi. <laughs> Anyways, um, my- I spoke with Donnie about this, and the idea that something should be able to one versus one a T-Rex if it was going to be anything, in my opinion, it would be the trike. Um, I've seen lots of documentaries where a trike could one versus one a Tyrannosaurus Rex short. Um, and it could do it very easily because it would just have to face the Rex. And the Rex really is attacking the weapon of the trike unless it could get behind the trike or get behind its its bone, its bone shield thing here and, and get to its neck. Um, I think in that instance, it should be okay. Otherwise, though, there's a reason why dinosaurs herd. Uh, it's to stay- it's to stay safe. Safety in numbers. And the Isle really isn't meant to be a solo game. So, like, if you- if you're a herbivore, and you can find a herd, or you make a priority out of finding a herd and staying with that group of people, you're pretty safe. Especially, even pre-nerf, if you had, like, three trikes and a Tyrannosaurus Rex walked up on you, all you guys have to do is stand in a line, three ro or doing the three threat, and I mean, that Rex would probably not mess with you. Um, especially with this buff now, because I'm gonna give you guys the stats of the creatures and what's been changed, and then I'm gonna give you the damage of the new- the new stuff. But that's my stance on it. You guys let me know what you think about it, and if you think it's correct or if it's incorrect, but a lot of people were complaining about the Rex. Um, I didn't really have a problem with where the Rex was. I understand the Rex is an apex predator. It is, like, another thing too I'm gonna bring up is that a lot of people, um, are Rexes right now, but you gotta realize in the release of the game, very, very few people will ever make it to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's going to be one of those, like, oh, wow, you know, like, I saw T-Rex you know, yesterday or last night while playing the aisle, and that's just so rare to see someone playing as a T-Rex. But right now, it's super e This is super easy mode compared to what it's going to be, basically. But either way, guys, the Shant has 3,000 health from 2,800. Theory has 200 up from 850. The Trake's health is the exact same at 1,650. Diablo is 1,150. Old was 1,050. The Dryo was not changed. The Stego got 150, uh, 150 extra health to 1,650. Anki is now 2,000 from 1,650. The Anki is a freaking wrecking ball by the way i'm gonna tell you some stats on that in a second the galley was not changed the packy was not changed the maya is now 1350 out of 1250 and the rex was nerfed to 1900 from 2200 now when it comes to the damage the trike gourd does 20 bleed and 700 damage so that's this attack right here it's stomp does 250 damage and 20 bleed which i'm not sure i'm not sure if that's intentional i think that's backwards guys i actually think that's that's backwards uh, of what it's supposed to be. That might just be a bug. The 30 swipe is pretty much the same. The Diablo now does 250 damage and 2 bleed. I think that's actually down a little bit. I thought it did 300 something, but that's it's against the same weight class too, guys. Like, this is all appropriate to the weight class and all that fun stuff. The Yankee does 700 damage now, and it has 95% chance to break bones of any creature except for the Puerta, obviously, the not a Bronto. Um, it's classed as extra large now. And the Rex was nerfed to 500 damage uh, and 8 bleed, which I think before it did like 700 damage or something like that. Uh, the Shant now does 850 damage on a stomp and 250 on a headbutt, and the Packy was not changed. It's all the stats I have right now, but there was a big buff to a lot of creatures. And uh, if you're a trike, I guess just stay away from, from the stomp attack right now or do some testing on it and just see what the deal is. Actually, if I really wanted to test the damage, I could. Right now, I mean, yeah, I have it in me to be a douche. Hang on, I have it in me. Let's just let's just turn around right here. We're gonna turn around right here, and uh, whoa, what's what's this up here? What's that? Oh, they're all dead. They all dot. The shit is that? That's a weird sound. All right, so I'm gonna test out my gore on this uh, on this Acrocanthosaurus right here because I can. 
Let's just act like we're casually getting water. I'm just getting water, guys. Don't mind me. Wait, is that a Rex? Maybe I'll try it against a Rex. I think that'd be a more fitting thing to do. Let's just, let's just casually hit this guy right here. And two, three, four. I think I'm hitting him. Oh yeah, look at that guy. He is super hurt now, just instantly from that. Look at that, I just killed a Rex. Look at that. Oh, and this guy is super, I just killed the acro. Holy shit, I'm a wrecking ball. This trach is now super, wow, dude, that is crazy. Look at all the blood I gave that guy instantly. The trike is a freaking... Man, it's a glass cannon now. Let's just go in as this Anki and we'll see what the deal is. 2,000 health. Yeah, look at that. We're like the trike of the new age. Oh my god. That is crazy, dude. All right. <laughs> I think... Uh... <laughs> I... <laughs> I hate... <laughs> I hate being a douchebag like this, but I want to test some stuff and see what the deal is. I think if anything, I would probably go with the Anki now. Like, if its damage is as high as what people are saying, I would totally go as this guy's like a little shit can. He's like a brick shit house, man. Like, I'm not even kidding. He has a ton of health. Like, this guy might be the new Stego, but we're going to test that out. We're, we're just going to see. The, the, the trike, like... The trike just obliterated the Rex, like, instantly. It killed an Acro, and then I critically wounded another tr uh, another T-Rex. So, like, that right there should tell you the, the scale of this buff and how ridiculous it is. Holy shit, dude, it is not okay. Oh, my God. I think, if anything, the most, a Rex and a trike should be on the equal, not have one stronger than the other. I think they should be, like, equal. Night vision this up. Oh, there we go. We got our night vision now. Our night vision is really bad, though. I bet I just gave that guy the fright of a life. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Wait, what? I couldn't even hit him? What? I can't hit him? You guys are seeing that right, right? Did I just hit him? Oh yeah, I totally hit him, but I'm not breaking his legs. That's pretty clear. I think he just broke my legs though. That's weird. I thought I had like a high chance to, uh, to break legs. The Anki. Not as strong as I thought it was. I'm just gonna go back again. I think that was just bad luck. So a thought just crossed my mind and I was thinking, you know, this guy's threat and roar really isn't... It really isn't that scary. It's just like a little nah type of thing. You know what I mean? Like he just kind of moans. He's like, leave me alone, you know, but it's not threatening. This is more of like a, hey, get, get, get away from me type of thing. You know, like I'm kind of okay if you're in my personal comfort zone, but I'm not entirely sure if I want you there for long. I think animations, when they come to threatening, they should... Like, this just- let me know what you think about this. I think, like, this guy should take his tail and start bashing it against the ground and, like, thrashing it side to side as he, like, screams at you in, like, a horrific tone or something, you know? And, like, maybe jumps on the ground and not, like, jumps, but, like, it goes up on his hind legs and, like, stomps down or something. Like, you, you know what I mean? Like, extra animation sequences, uh, sequences and stuff. Like, I think that should be a thing. Or, like, the T-Rex, if it does it, um, if it does one of its, like, ro uh, threatens or something, like, obviously these animations, you need to be standing still and looking at your target and stuff. Um, because moving, it would probably cause some issues with, like, uh, movement and, and all that fun stuff. But, like, even the Rex, like, maybe it would stomp its foot forward and, like, roar at you or something. I thought that, I don't know. I thought those would be pretty cool. I, I figure, like, the trach, too. The trach is kind of cool already. Like, it shakes its head and it, it does, like, the whole roar thing. So it has its own interactive animation with its head movement and stuff, um, which seems more threatening. But, like... I, I don't know. I, I thought that that would be a cool thing if it like if it bashed its tail against the ground as it as it did like a threaten roar or something. I don't know how hard that would be to animate, but that's just my thought. You guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about that idea. Uh, I might actually bring that to Dondi and just be like, hey man, this this would be kind of cool, but I don't want to do it if uh, if you guys um, don't agree with that kind of thing or if you don't think I should actually bring that to him. I think it'd be kind of cool though. And look at that, it's daytime again because they've partially or completely fixed the issues that we were facing with uh, with the stuff right here. I heard there were bushes you could eat, but I don't know how true that is. A lot of people told me like, hey man, you can eat bushes now, it's not just trees. Um, actually, this, this vegetation looks a little bit different. I don't know, uh, I'm heading up here because I had shown you guys this marsh a while ago and it was like bare bones and, and all that stuff, but now apparently it looks magnificent with all kinds of new stuff and I wanted to check that out. So we're gonna go up there now and, uh, and we're gonna 
check that out. All right, so here we are now at this marsh area. And that rock, rock looks cool. That's what I have to do. I have to look at rocks. That's what I look at first thing, a rock, instead of the entire place being flooded. I'm like, oh, look, a cool rock. So, seems like this place is a flooded a little bit more. It seems almost more open. I don't know. I thought there was like a spot that was made deeper in this water, though. I'm not, I'm not sure, but it looks more like a marsh now and less like a swamp. Because before, it felt like a swamp that was just like, oh, look at that. There's like seaweed and stuff down here now and like kelp. That's kind of cool. Because um, before, like, it felt like... I don't know. It felt like it was... Felt like they were trying to almost mimic the swamp and just try the boundaries to see what they could do before they went ahead with that entire thing and implemented it. But that's just my thought on it. They might not have done that at all, but that was just my feeling of it. What the hell is this? This is like all washed out right here. What is... What is all that? This driftwood up there. That's pretty cool. Let me, let me see. What is, what is all this up right here? Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's another deep spot and there's more of this. Wow. Look at this. There's a really deep spot here. Holy shit. This is cool. Reminds me of like Subnautica, with those lot with the uh, what is what what are those vines? I can't uh, I can't remember what the name of those vines are, but they were like giant ones, and there were freaking dick snout fish there, and they killed you. It sucked ass. I mean, this is looking more. This is looking better and better every single day, guys. Like this is way. This is awesome. This is an arc though, so I can't mine the rock, unfortunately, with my Anki. Kind of sucks, but I don't I don't need rock anyways. I don't even think this would be a good rock to build with. It looks like one of those porous rocks you'd find on a beach. And uh, those rocks are really freaking fragile. Like, you drop it, it's going to basically shatter. At least the ones we have here do. Boom! <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, I feel so bad. I'm sorry, little guy. I didn't... <laughs> I totally mean to do that. <laughs> oh, that's funny, because I'm pretty sure the guy wanted to die anyways. But, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna come back as the taco. We're gonna check that out. Apparently, it's like, it's just as safe to be like a bush, and probably more entertaining, to be honest with you, because it's like the next, it's the next lowest tier of herbivore, but I'm gonna go to that now, and <laughs> get the tail flapping in the wind. Uh, we're gonna go to that now. I wasn't gonna start my recording right here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it anyways, because this guy... This thing is painfully slow. Look at this. This guy is like the equivalent of a one horsepower engine with shit legs. I'm not even kidding. Like, I could probably crawl across a desert faster than this thing can run. This freaking taco is total shit at moving. I don't, how does this even, how does this amount to any kind of mobility? I would be moving faster if I was standing still and letting the wind push me. That is how fast... I, 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 oh god, it's, it's pain, look at this, I'm dying because I can't get, I'm not even gonna make it to a tree over there. Like, I can't even cross this freaking desert before I start dying. That is how slow this guy is. That is ridiculous. Why? <laughs> this is, I feel bad for anyone. I feel for you if you have to progress as this guy in the very beginning. I am so sorry. If you have to deal with this, whatever this shit this is, at least it has decent night vision. But I am, I, it is, I'm not even going to make it to the freaking trees over there before I die. And now I'm going to get blinded by the sun. This thing is like, this is the dinosaur equivalent of a pug. Like, I'm not even kidding. This thing is the dinosaur equivalent of a pug. It has to be. Like, there is no other, there is nothing else that I can think of that would, like, God, I'm on 80 freaking health. And I'm almost, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna make it. Like, I'm not gonna make it. Look how far the trees are, and I have no stamina to get there. Like, this is not okay. This is so not okay, guy. <laughs> I can't. I'm not gonna make it. I just took more damage, and I'm limping. Like, I couldn't even make it across the desert. What kind of bullshit is this? I couldn't even make it across a freaking desert. Without dying of hunger. Like, I could walk across this without water or food, and I would be perfectly fine. I could probably run at a brisk jog, even in the scorching heat, and I would be perfectly fine. But this guy is just like, no, I need food. I need food. If I don't eat, I I start bleeding in, in different spots of my body, and I look like I've been beaten to crap. This is not okay. Wow, look at the slaughter fest up there. That's ridiculous, dude. There are so many dead bodies there, so big compared to me. This is scary. I look at these things and I basically want to die. This thing, I gotta show you the sounds for it. 
But it, <laughs> I don't even know why it has a threaten roar. You can't even attack. Like there is no attack for this guy. Oh shit! There's a turkey behind me. You better be who I think you are. If you're not, we got problems. Oh no, you're not who I think you are because who I think you are is that person over there. Then who I think you are is not. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this, this, this is not good. I just want to get to water though. I just I don't I don't need one track mine. One track mine. One thing at a time. But I'm going to show you guys this guy's roars because they are just pathetic. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys the roars now because I can. Here is the one roar or broadcast. Yeah, like, you can't even hear it over the other roars. Just listen to this. You can barely hear it. That's me screaming my lungs out. This is friendly? Kinda. Friendly is more, more, is louder than the freaking, than the, than the broadcast call. Huh. And here is Threaten. Like, what are you gonna do? L scream at them to death? Like, is that what he's gonna do? And then here's the, uh, I'm basically being destroyed roar. It, it reminds me of like a double... Hi. It reminds me of like a double um, dryo squeak. That's what this is. That's what it reminds me. Like a higher pitch though. And this is just the F call. That's basically it. Then this guy just waddles around. He does his own thing. Whatever. Guys, give me some... Uh, give me... So oh, shit. Uh, give me some facts. <laughs> I gotta run underneath the track. Give me some facts on this guy. Why does it look like a mixture between a raccoon and a porcupine first off? Because, well, that's what it looks like. But what? why does it have, like, thorns on its tail? Like, were those actual spines that could hurt something if it got bit? Like... What, what was this guy's... What did he do? How big was it in reality? Like, just give me give me as many facts as you have on this thing, because I want to know about the taco and know, uh, know exactly what this thing was all about, because, uh, well, actually, I'm not even going to be playing him for very... I'm not going to play him very much, because uh, I don't intend on dying. If I die, I might just quit the aisle, actually, if I have to play as this guy, because this, uh, this is not good. This guy is not good. Not fun at all. Everything is big compared to me. Like... I am so small, I'm smaller than the Dryo. Like, that's pretty freaking small, but I like how this guy can hide in the grass. His main defense is the fact that he's just so small, nothing can really see him. But the worst thing about it is that I can't hurt anything, and if they do see me and they chase me down, which arguably, they're gonna chase me down no matter what. Like, the, I, I, I can barely run. Like, my legs are not meant for sprinting. Uh, did someone just get killed? Uh-oh. I think that Rex just killed someone. Either way, um... This guy, like, he, he can't run away. Like, if something sees you, you're basically gonna die unless you can somehow, by some miracle, hide. And you need, like, tall grass and stuff. So, like, you could technically hide in the dark if you were, like, right here. You would kind of blend in because they'd, like, look over you and stuff. But I don't think it would really work out for you um, if they have, like, really good night vision or something. Or, like, if it's a Utah Raptor, they probably see you very easily. Everything's following me. Oh, God. I'm dying of hunger now. I got problems. But I just don't care. I don't care if I die at this point. <laughs> oh, look. A Carno. Hi, little guy. How you doing? I'm just gonna hit you a couple times. Let me just... There we go. I hit him, I think. I'm... What the shit? What the sh... What? What just happened? Did I just one... What? I... I just one-shot an acro that insta-spawned. Hang on a second. This is... <laughs> okay, so I killed the Carno. I killed the acro- I feel like there is a issue with the hitbox of the tail, cause like, I was right on that Carno, and it didn't kill it. That was weird. And I, I just instantly killed an- that- <laughs> Alright, Aladicus- I think I said acro. Aladicosaurus is what I meant to say, but okay, Aladicosaurus, I guess, uh... <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I am here, finally. I went to the third lake rather than staying at the first, because I heard there was a lot of people here. So, in popular shithead fashion, I am going to weasel my way between all of these people here, and I'm going to wildly tail swipe. And when I wildly tail swipe, I'm going to see how many people I manage to kill, because, uh, well, I want to see how much damage this guy does. If I can't hit someone with a one-on-one -on -one attack, maybe I'll somehow get lucky and hit everyone. Yeah, look, look at that. There's loads of people here. There's so many people here. Holy crap, look at this. Dude, they're so small. The taco is so small because even smaller looking down at it. So we have a Therizinosaurus. And then we have a Acro. And I bet I could run forward then and get these two guys right here on the Utah Raptor. 
I could probably do that. Because I really want to know how much damage this guy does. I'm, I'm willing to bet I'll one or two shot this guy over here. And I'll probably one shot the Therizinosaurus, if not two shot him. Um... If I can hit these guys. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll hit them or not. <laughs> they think I'm a taco. I'm actually the Anki that's about to wreck face. <laughs> oh my god, I just killed so many people. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> they thought. <laughs> They thought I was- holy shit, that guy went flying! Dude, that was crazy! <laughs> oh my god, that was great! I'm not breaking legs though, it's saying that I should be breaking legs, but I'm not breaking legs. Why is that not a thing? I should be breaking legs. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, I got a Rex on me. Ooh, Rex got hurt. I got another Rex on me. Oh god! Ho! 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 Attack! Go! Ha! Smack! Smack! Wham! Bam! Sham! Oh, I took him down as I went down. Shit, yeah. Oh, that was great. <laughs> to be fair, I told those guys like five minutes before I even went there that I was coming on the. I was coming up to wreck face, and they thought I was. I, they thought I was a taco. What the hell? Anyways, you guys, that is it for this episode of the Isle. We checked out the herbivore buffs. We checked out the new taco. That is the new starting creature as a herbivore in that progression tree. We also checked that swamp out over there. So that was pretty cool. The marsh or whatever. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash the crap out of that like button. So I know you want to see more of the Isle, and I will see you in the next video.